we do a cylinder and a cylinder mount. So sometimes when you do a joint, um, you want to use a different type of uh, origin mode. So all so far I've done simple, but you have an option between two faces. So if we do component one, if we do between two faces, we can select that face there. And then we can select that one a bit of a distance, isn't it? There. And then what it'll do is it will still ask you for the snap point. Now the snap point is in the middle. So sometimes it's better to go from the front, zoom in, and you can pick up the center point then there, because it's very hard to kind of find the center point of this one. So that's there. Now, when we go over to wherever it is, there, now, we have a difficulty because it's going to end up in fresh air. I want it to go between these two points. So again, I can use on component two, between two faces, I can select that face there. And then it's flying all over the place, isn't it? There. And then for the snap point, it will actually create almost like a, a midpoint. So if you, if you, yeah, zoom in a bit better there. It's, even though I haven't, created a midpoint uh, as in on the construct because i've gone between two faces it's transposed that point there and that point there and it's created on this uh face it's a bit it's a bit difficult to select sometimes but we're there so if i select that now it's on a silly motion at the moment because it's on ball so we'll go for revolute and then if we preview that one, no, you can't see it because it's the same colour. So what that's done is that's basically created that as a joint in midair. So that's between two faces. Another one which is uh, sometimes used, mostly you use uh, just a simple one. But we have a two edge intersection. Let's have a look at that. So let's say this rod we want positioned there, but there isn't an origin point. So when we do joint, the other one that we have, we had between two faces, we have two edge intersect. So on component one, we don't want two edge intersect. We just want to find that midpoint. But on component two, we want two edge intersection. Now two edge intersection can be that line there and that line there, and that will create uh, an intersection going from that line upwards and from that line across. So that's positioned that perfectly as if this was a box right on the corner there. The other one that's a bit weird is when you have uh tangent box tangent cylinder and tangent ram so i'm going to turn on component colors just so that we can see it so let's imagine here that i've got a box and i've got a uh, rod and imagine this is a hammer and i'm going to hammer this into that hole so if i move this here yeah. and try and move it up it just goes through everything as if as if it was like a ghost it's, it goes straight through it now the reason for that is that we need contact faces so on assemble you have a thing here that says uh, enable contact sets so when you go over to here now you get a new tab and it says contact sets if you right click that and create a new contact set, if we do that one and then that one and then click OK, what will happen now is when I move that, you'll notice, especially if we do it from the front, that that now doesn't go through it anymore. It like hammering it into the hole. Now, that's pretty good apart from if that was a resistance fit as you hammer it in obviously it's not going to fall out but let's assume that this is um uh, it's got plenty of uh play 
and gravity would make that drop down. But every time I push that up, it, it doesn't fall back down. Within joints, you have here, you have a thing called tangent relationship. And what this does is like uh, a tangent circle. It keeps two faces uh, physically, magnetically connected. So if we do a tangent relationship, what it asks you to do is do the faces. So select a face on a body in component one. So let's select that one. And then if we select the face on that one, basically they now magnetically connect. So if I now pull that down, it will come with it. And if I push it up, it will go up with it. So if that was a whatever, it, 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 it stays magnetically connected. So it's allowing gravity, if you like, or they're magnetically connected. 